The instructors all agree the trick of making a good Mountie is in the selection even more than in the training. While there is no rule to this effect, you will seldom find the son of a wealthy man in the scarlet uniform. The self-seeker finds little encouragement here, but still the personal pride and the high esteem of the Mountie's protectorate are rare values indeed. Despite the fact the outer service of the materialistic world would seem to say otherwise. These PT classes are not performed because they need exercise. Here, unusual calisthenetics are taught and practiced to develop parts of the body seldom used in regular use. Some of these movements can actually restore energy to tired and aching muscles and bring them back to normal condition. The modern trainee has less than a year for his entire schooling period, so you can readily see he has no time for competitive sport or recreation. The PT instructor has a special and large order of training responsibility on his hands. Mounties are often big, rugged men, and it's the job of the PT officer to teach these giants the secret of agility and bounce, if not grace and balance. To establish a high and common level of values among the minds and muscles of the constant stream of Canadian manhood is a challenge and a duty that baffles the law enforcement agencies of other countries. And yes, the RCMP has come up with a system that inspires a special breed of man. Every art of self-defense and physical prowess is taught in all of its best aspects, but not as sports or pastimes. These lads might not take a Dempsey or a Lewis in the prize ring, but in a countryside skirmish, they have a way of manual dexterity that commands respect or else. They soon learn that the confidence derived from a good right fist is far better than the so-called security of the handgun. However, when the occasion demands it, the Mountie is well grounded in the most desperate tricks of the trade. Jiu-Jitsu, Judo, and modern methods for committing mayhem on the human carcass is not exactly a lost art in the Scarlet Repertoire. With Canada's great undeveloped region so abundantly supplied with lakes, streams, and ponds, it's important that every Mountie be an expert swimmer and small boat handler. These lads know they will save far more lives by good rescue ability than they ever will with a gun. Never touch a drowning man. It usually ends in two deaths. The canoe paddle is a magic wand that's worth its weight in gold in nearly every marine emergency. With the canoe almost a way of life in the Canadian out of doors, the RCMP spends much time on canoe rescue methods. Thousands of lives are saved every year because of the special drills practiced here in a school camp. The canoe is a tricky vessel that looks so graceful and harmless. 
These recruits are soon sold on the ensuring belief that a little work and a little care can well prevent enjoyment from turning into despair. The success of every Mountie depends upon the advancement and development of this school from the experiences of the working force. Each batch of trainees must have at least a few newer and better methods than its predecessors. No position on the force is allowed to become stagnant or stationary. 